We were at the Harvey cabin today. This is, um, was built in 1889. Uh, it was moved when the state bought this property. It was moved to a White Horse or White House town nearby. And then in 02, it was moved back here. It's not on its exact location, but it, it is within one mile of its original location. So that's pretty, that's pretty interesting, pretty neat. Um, the Harveys were farmers. We're right now, we're outside of Jacksonville between Jacksonville and Baldwin. In fact, I think the mailing address for this place is Baldwin. <clears throat> we're well outside the Baldwin town proper. Um, but this is very interesting. It's very, uh, the last time I was here, the only other time that I was here, this, there, this was covered by like a, a 10 foot fence or something. I could barely reach over it and take a few shots, but it was not, and I don't think even now it's open. I, yeah, there's a lock on that gate and I'm not jumping the fence just to get closer. It's, I'm close enough right now. I couldn't go inside of it anyway. But I like what they've done with the windows. They've completely sealed up the windows. I and mean, obviously these are original, this part of the, these are original boards. Uh, you can see some original boards on the porch, although most of the porch has been restored and you can easily tell the difference. Um, because the porches were always the first to deteriorate for whatever reason. Um, so I'm sure there's some new boards here and there, but mostly what we're looking at are um, original original boards. And they would have moved this back and forth just like they did all the other houses back in the day. They intact classic cracker construction with some very modern um, additions and improvements. They've, they've spent some money on, on putting this here and leaving it here, assuming they're going to use it if they're not already using it for some sort of school trip education type stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's one of the most compelling things out here. There's some earthwork. There's a barn they built behind me that it's... it's they say it's supposed to represent a barn of the time, but it's pretty damn big to me. For a barn for a cabin this size, that's a big old barn. It's not a... I don't think barns back in those days down here were that big, especially for a farm, a smaller farm. But smarter people than me research this and put this here so we're gonna go with their with what they say um so anyway that's pretty much it we can't go inside we're not gonna jump the fence um everything's locked and it's just a basic square single structure Florida cracker cabin and by single structure I mean there's no dog run there's no additions there's no outside kitchen excuse me any of that stuff to to separate it from uh, just a single regular old cabin and they've got the they've got the they've got <laughs> They've got the rocking chairs chained to the floor. I've never, ever seen that. I've never seen rocking chairs in any way fixed to the porch they're on. That's interesting. Oh, and there's a, an outlet there, too. Uh, that's even more interesting. So anyway, we're going to continue on our, on our uh, research around here. It's a pretty cool place. So.